Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Oof, it's been a while, but today we're talking about some doozies. Like the fake Panerai scandal. Panerai didn't realize that their own Panerai was fake. We'll get right into that. Uh, as well as Patek Calatravas and you know, amongst other things in today's Q&A. Now, of course, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today, I'm wearing my Rolex Submariner Hulk. Back on the wrist. It's Friday. I'm going to be wearing it all weekend, uh, getting ready for, you know, cocktails and sun. Also, guys, I want to apologize for being absent a little bit. I've been absolutely swamped here at Delray Watch. Uh, but we just hired a new director of operations, which should free me up quite a bit to make a lot more videos, and actually this new gentleman will be featuring on some videos as well because he's more knowledgeable about watches than I am. So uh, we should get him behind the camera too. Also guys, don't forget to check out DelrayWatch.com. Just got in a bunch of cool watches. A uh, Tudor Black Bay P01, a Grand Seiko Spring Drive Titanium Dive Watch, a JLC Master Moon, a Tudor Black Bay 58 in blue, um, an Omega Planet Ocean Chronograph. A bunch of new watches have been hitting the site. That's at delraywatch.com. Link in the description below. So yeah, guys, these are the questions you asked me on Instagram. You can follow me at Federico Talks Watches, and I will be answering them for you today. The first one is from Opus Opisan. If you need to pick one, which is your favorite Calatrava? I can't pick one. I hate questions where you only can pick one, but I guess ultimately my heart was always with the 5127J. Uh, I know not everybody loves yellow gold, but I do. But I'm also starting to fall in love with the sector dial discontinued Calatravas. I think both of them are absolutely gorgeous, even though the 5127 is starting to look... A little too 90s for me, uh, but it is still my favorite. Cron89, when you're not working, what do you do for fun? <laughs> well, Cron, uh, nowadays I'm working on a crazy amount, but what do I do for fun? In an ideal world, I travel. I love traveling. The more adventurous and strange the country, the better. Uh, I go for drives. Apart from watches, I love driving. I take out my Cali or the Ghibli and I just go for a nice jaunt around Miami. Uh, I go out to dinner and cocktails whenever I can, even though COVID not really a, a thing I, I'm really doing all that much at the moment. Um, and then I spend a lot, a lot of time online just researching watches. <laughs> <laughs> and watching non-watch YouTube videos. I mean, I do YouTube for a living and so do I do watches, but I still do them as hobbies as well. A man of simple tastes, believe it or not. <clears throat> Gail LK. Hey Federico, if someone would ask you to recommend between two watches, the Rolex Daytona or the Breguet Marine, which one would you recommend? Thanks. Well, I'm massively biased because I own a Marine and I'm also well known to not really like the Daytona. Not that there's anything wrong with it, I just don't like it. Now, the smart money is on the Daytona because it will always appreciate. But honestly, horologically speaking, Breguet Marine all day long. Yes, it's not a chronograph, but Breguet over Rolex, at least in my mind. Uh, hand guilloche versus assembly line finishing. Another, you know, easy decision in my book. Um, and I don't know. I, I, there's the hype of the Daytona makes me not particularly love it. I totally understand it's probably the one you should pick and that a lot of people love it. But for me, eh, not really my thing. Yannick Thibodeau. Hey, Fed, do you still have any contact with TGV or Christian from Theo and Harris? Uh, nope, TGV haven't spoken to like four years at this point. Um, but Christian, yeah, I speak to him all, I mean, not all the time, but I feel like we, we speak at least once every six weeks. We do a little bit of business together. We trade watches. Uh, we call each other just to see, you know, what's up, what's going on. We haven't shot a video uh, together in almost two years, and I haven't seen him in almost three years. Uh, but we, we catch up on the phone from time to time. Christian is, is a, he's good people. <laughs> I enjoy his company quite a bit. Automatic wind. 
My question is, will you ever expand your YouTube channel to include luxury lifestyle cars, dining, and travel? Seems like you live quite an interesting life based on your Instagram. Uh, well, Automatic Wine, thank you so much. I really uh, appreciate the compliment. Will I expand it? Uh, yes and no. So no, I don't think Federico Talks Watches will, uh, you know, <laughs> will have that content. But I do think eventually uh, Federico Talks Watches will come to an end. I'm not saying anytime soon, but guys, I'm already 500 videos in. Um, and it's not, not like I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. But I do think I will eventually make uh, a travel YouTube channel. Uh, not really into the automotive stuff. I mean, I love cars, but I'll leave that to Doug DeMuro. But maybe a travel YouTube channel um, where you can see some of my adventures, some dining, stuff like that. I hope you guys would watch it. I've mentioned it before, and there seems to be a little bit of interest. Don't know when that's going to be, but eventually, hopefully. GG underscore P. Hey, Fed, love your page and content. What do you think about what happened to Panerai posting fake watches on their Instagram account? Well, guys, let me give you a little backstory. So, um... On Panerai's Instagram account, they reposted someone's picture of a Panerai. Uh, because, you know, that's what you do on Instagram. You repost occasionally. And I, I believe it was a tribute to Lebanon, even though I, I could be mistaken. And it ends up that the watch they reposted was fake. And this started a huge kerfuffle on their Instagram account. Um, Instagrammers calling them out, so on and so forth. Now, what do I think? I mean, I think it's a shame, but I think... Honestly, what do you guys expect? And I'm talking particularly to these Instagrammers, Paris Toika, and, and excuse me if I mispronounce uh, that. I actually love his Instagram stuff. Wrist Busters, all great Instagram accounts. But I used to work for Richman. The person running the Instagram account for Panerai is probably some junior level $45,000 a year, you know, 21-year-old kid. I mean, they don't know any better. I'm not saying that's an excuse, but it's not like some massive plot that Panerai posted a fake watch or that someone high level didn't notice. No, it's some kid running their Instagram page and he made a mistake. Now, should have Panerai have knowledge, acknowledged it? Yeah, absolutely. Panerai um, didn't acknowledge it. They ignored it. In fact, the post is still up and that's a little ridiculous. I agree. Now, there's also some talk that uh, people calling out Panerai got their Instagram accounts banned by Instagram. Uh, because of some Instagram Panerai connection. I can't comment on that. I think it's certainly possible, but I think it may also be far-fetched. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully these guys get their Instagram accounts back. I do think, though, a mountain was made out of molehill. Yeah, making fun of Panerai. Listen, I get it. I, I, I would have, too. I thought it was a little shocking myself, but ultimately, no big deal. Some junior level marketing coordinator in Switzerland might lose their job. That's like the extent of it. It's, it's not like Johann Rupert posted it himself. Um, social media isn't taken seriously by the watch world anyway, which is a different discussion and it's a shame. Um, but what do I think? I mean, I think it's a lot of drama over uh, nothing. Not saying pa Panerai doesn't have skeletons in their closet, but this particular incident... You know, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It really does help. And please subscribe so you don't miss any content. Guys, thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.